Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. I got a bad, bad feeling about stuff, guys. I don't proclaim to be the sharpest knife in the drawer. I'm not the smartest person. When I took the graduate record examination, which is an entry-level test to go into grad school uh, to do uh, graduate work in psychology and experimental psychology, I scored very poorly on the verbal aspect. I scored very poorly on the mathematical aspect. But the part where I shined was on the analytical component. And on that component, I got 100%, which is in like the top 1% of the population. So I don't proclaim to have all the answers and I'm not the best at intellectualizing things. and I'm not uh, the best in terms of using my words eloquently and in a very impromptu, improvised fashion. I'm no Ben Shapiro, but I do have a good bird's eye view of things because the way my mind works is I'm always thinking big picture. I just, everything is related to the big picture for me. When I say big picture, sometimes I'm talking about the outer space big picture. Now I make videos like this because I care about the truth. I care about my subscribers. I know it doesn't help me a whole heck of a lot in terms of the algorithm because this kind of content competes with my gear review content and my very practical blue strip videos but I do it because I, I just feel compelled to speak my mind about certain things. So I don't make this video to scare you per se, but I make this video because this is what I'm seeing. I got a real, real bad feeling about what is going on in the world right now. Why are the Russians shooting down satellites and why are the astronauts on the space station running for cover in their escape pods. I mean, this is something that just happened. Why are they doing this without giving them any forewarning about what's going on? Why the flex? This caused something called a rare debris generating event. And what that is, if you've ever seen the movie Gravity, I don't need to explain it to you, with Sandra Bullock. It's actually a pretty good movie. The same plot of that movie is now playing out in real life. You cannot make this up. What happens is if you shoot a satellite in space and you don't pulverize it, for lack of better terms, you don't obliterate it completely, the little pieces fly off in all directions at the speed of like a bullet because those satellites are going around Earth's orbit at I don't know how fast, but really, really fast. And if they were to collide in with, with any other satellite, it would be like a mini meteor hitting a satellite. Well, maybe not that extreme, but it would be catastrophic. And it would cause a cascading effect because the more uh, of debris out there, the greater the risk that that debris is going to hit other satellites. And that debris field would continue to grow and grow as it consumed more and more satellites, potentially just killing all the satellites. Now that would probably take a long, long time. And perhaps there is some way to resolve this that I'm not aware of, but this could cause serious damage to communications, to navigations, to weather systems, to how we uh, communicate on the internet. We talk about every possible apocalyptic scenario, but that's one that a lot of people haven't considered is space wars. And the writing is on the wall. So why is it that that's happening right now? Why is the language being used by both Beijing and the USA becoming more and more aggressive and official? Why is the line in the sand being drawn? You know, to hear Xi Jinping talk about how any of the, any of the enemies will be crushed if they uh, attempt to get in their way of obviously expanding the territory into Taiwan is, is something that not a lot of people are paying attention to. I'm hearing more and more talk now about nuclear weapons and nuclear armament buildups and how China's starting to build up their nuclear weapons again. And just to, to hear people talk about that, that was something a couple of years ago, people weren't talking about that. Why are the Australians building nuclear powered submarines? Okay, why is there this stuff going on in the Belarusian border? And how is that? Uh, divide between the East and West that's now growing between Europe, that's what they're calling it, okay? Poland is somehow this 
a gateway into Europe all of a sudden. And, you know, all of a sudden it's East versus West again. It's the Russians, the Belarus against the West. Why, oh why, is this never-ending thing that's been going on for two years just keep on resurging and resurging? Why is there more draconian methods being employed in China and more and more lockdowns, more and more people being shut into their homes? Okay, why is this still going on? Why are societies ever so incrementally starting to uh, chip away at the civil liberties of the inhabitants of those countries as you have more police in the streets in places where you know people particularly don't need them and where places where you need them they're not there because they've either resigned for various reasons or there's just not the funding because uh, crime is through the roof why is drug use through the roof why are we seeing record drought in 2021 that has decimated food production yet now we are seeing these just wild weather extremes like on the west in vancouver they've experienced uh, some pretty catastrophic flooding recently china has experienced some insane flooding this year juxtaposed with droughts so you see we're, we're living in the age of extremes where you once had people who were fairly moderate and you once had moderate weather you now have extreme weather and people who are very polarized and on complete opposite end of the spectrums. And the more people go left, the more the other people feel the need to go right until everybody just falls off the scale. And this is what you would expect to see in the run up to World War Three is you would expect to see civil unrest, uh, civil conflict, potentially. I mean, just think about what's happened this year. January 6th, just think about what happened last year with the riots. Think about the, the military buildup that's now starting to, to come up and the saber rattling, okay, the climate disaster. All of these things indicate that we are in shit hits the fan, that this is just slow motion SHTF. Go and watch a video I made seven years ago called SHTF, the imminent pandemic. And I basically predicted this whole thing to a T 